Hello everyone and welcome to the second computer lab session. Today I will show you some Pro Tools and Modify Tools. Ok, let's see Polyline and see how it's different from Lines. First of all, we'll do a drawing using Line Tools. And now we can make the similar drawing using Polyline. So, about the differences. In the first drawing, where we use line tool, we can see that uh, each line considered as object. And in polylines, the full drawing is considered as one object. To convert your lines to polylines in your drawing, you can use drawing command. Type J on command bar, then select your object and press Enter. So now full drawing is considered as one object. The next tool is Arc, which can create arcs uh, using three points. Okay, now let's talk about tools in Move panel. So, if you want to move your object in drawing area, you can use Move command. Type M, select your object, specify base points. So, let's select uh, the center for this case. And then click on the point where you can displace your object. The next tool is Copy, which creates a copy of your object in drawing area. To activate it, just type CO in your command bar or select it from Modify panel. Then select the object that you would like to copy. Specify Base Point. You can select any point, so let's select the middle one. And then define the points where you would like to put the copy of your object. Okay, now let's see how to rotate our object. Okay, firstly let's draw a polygon with six sides. Then select Rotate tool on Modify panel or type Rotate on command bar. Select your object, in our case it's two objects. Click on base point and then specify a rotation angle. In our case let's make vertical. Ok, now let's see mirror tool. This tool can make a mirrored copy of your object. To activate it, click on mirror tool on modify panel or just type MI on command bar. Then select the objects and specify the first point of mirror line. Then drag your cursor to required angle and click on the second point. If you need, you can delete original object. The next tool is Fillet, which can round the corners of the object. To activate it, Type a fillet on command bar or select a fillet tool on modify panel. Then you have to specify the radius of your round corner. Type R on command bar and then type the radius. Let's make it 5. So now we select the first line and the second one. Ok, let's repeat one more time. We select the tool fillet. Type R on the command bar. Write down the radius, select the first object and the second one. The next tool is chamfer, which allows you to make sloped or angled corner of your object. To use it, click on chamfer icon or type chamfer command on command bar. Then you should determine the distance of the first chamfer, so type D on command bar. Ok, let's make distance 2 mm. And then specify the distance of the second chamfer. So for the second distance let's make 3 mm. Then select the first fillet line and the second one. So here we have our angled corner. Ok, now using the tools let's draw the door. First we make rectangular, then draw a line. Copy rectangular to the end of the line. So in copy command we select our object, specify pass point and paste. Then go to the arc tool on draw panel, select the arc center start end 
Specify the center point of the arc by bringing your cursor to the corner of the rectangular. Then select the start of the arc and the end. Then you can draw a line to connect the corner of your rectangular with the end of the arc. And now we'll talk about array tool and we'll start with rectangular array. To show the use of the rectangular array, let me draw the rectangular in size 80 to 100. Now let's draw another rectangular inside of our object in the distance 10 units from the bottom line. The size of rectangular will be 15 to 20. Then move a small rectangular in the distance 10 units from the horizontal line from the left side to the right. And now using array tool you can make a copy of small rectangular arranged in a pattern. To use it click on rectangular array tool or type command rectangle array then select the object and now you can customize your copies okay let's reduce the number of columns and then you can close the customizing visor okay now let's make copy of objects in polar array to do it first of all i will create a circle uh, in diameter 60 and quadrant of the present circle will be selected as center point of the next circle with diameter 10 units. And now we select polar array in modify panel. Then select the object and the center point of array. In this case it will be the center of our big circle. On customizing visor we can increase or decrease the number of our circles. Define the degree of circle fill. So we can see that objects can be customized. And now let's move to the offset tool where you can display the object at specified distance. And actually it's very useful if your drawing contains many parallels or curves. To activate it, uh, click on offset tool in modify panel or type O in command bar. Next specify the distance. So let's make it 5 and then select the object. So here in distance 5 units we can display our rectangular inside and outside. Ok, let's try to offset another object. So in command bar type O, this time let's make the distance 3 and select our object to offset. The next useful tool is Stream. It is used to cut excess edges of the objects. To activate it just type TR on command bar or click on Trim tool in Modify panel. So here now we can trim all unnecessary lines inside of these circles. And the last command for today is explode. Here we can see that our small circles are considered as one object. So if we want to separate them, we should use explode command. To activate it on modify panel, go to the explode or just type X on command bar. Then select the object that should be exploded. Now we can see that each circle is separated. So the second computer laboratory work is completed. Thank you very much for watching the video. See you next time. Bye.